Hey everyone, it's the Crypto Diet coming with a video and this time I'm going to talk about something pretty serious and that is the current state of the crypto market. Everything is getting absolutely hit pretty hard at the moment and when I started this YouTube channel, I obviously wanted to do it because I love crypto, I love talking about crypto, my friends always told me, you're very knowledgeable about crypto, I think you should, you know, start a YouTube channel and people would love to listen to you. And uh, I gave it a go and it's actually doing pretty well considering how new the YouTube channel is but I always told myself that when I was to make a YouTube channel, I would always want to be as honest and as unbiased as possible. And this is the first time I am faced in a situation where I have to express my feelings, I have to express my thoughts, but I'm not trying to just be clickbaity or go against the grind. I just want to give you guys my opinion and just talk about the cryptocurrency you know, area as, as, a, as a whole and in a fair manner. So right now the crypto market, like I just said, is getting hit pretty hard. We have a lot of coins getting hit at the moment. Bitcoin is really testing its very crucial in support level at the 54,000 mark. We are literally touching our trend at the moment if we break this can get pretty hard and if we break the $48,000 mark might start to look bad now we've had this before where we've had runs but I'm gonna talk again in this video why I think things might be changing in a way we aren't used to in the crypto market so first of all why is crypto down or why is Bitcoin down so much and causing this this uh, this domino effect well it's because basically what's happened is there's a new variant identified in South Africa Spoiled liquidations across markets with European stocks falling the most since July and emerging markets also slumping. So we've got a new variant coming and doesn't look good, right? So this is why Bitcoin has come down and when Bitcoin gets hit, the alts get hit hard up. For me, I think there's more to this. I think there's more happening right now in the cryptocurrency world that I want to talk about. And I think it starts with plan B. When plan B gave his stock to flow model and he said that Bitcoin was gonna be 98K by the end of November and 135K by the end of December. I think this really caused a few problems with it because he was actually pretty accurate in his August, uh, so in his August, September, and October predictions that were pretty much almost on the money. He almost pretty much almost 100% you know, estimated it, which was pretty hard to do. But November doesn't look like it's going to hit 98K and I don't think we're going to hit 135K Bitcoin by the end of December. And I think this caused a lot of positive or a bit too much emotion, positive emotion in the market because everyone's thinking, oh my God, we're going to the moon again. We're going to the moon, guys. Your alts are going to, you know, 5X, 10X, 15X, 20X. And that's what happened in previous bull cycles. Everyone was expected to have this blow off top in December. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. What I'm trying to say is I feel like everyone is thinking to themselves we're going to the moon we're going to the moon we're going to the moon and everyone is thinking they're going to the moon and you can see that in the leverage so the black line here is Bitcoin's price and the purple line is the leverage and you can just see just the leverage is so high why are people taking out leverage there's just too much emotion everyone's thinking I'm gonna get rich I'm gonna get rich I'm gonna get rich and they're all betting so much that this is gonna be the big blow off top that we had in 2017 what I'm trying to say is in 2017 it just kind of happened it happened, it happened quick, but it happened. When we had our blow off top in, you know, about December, January, February of 2020, going into 2021, no one really expected it. Everyone's like, oh, Bitcoin probably just hit its limit and it just kept going, right? So here's Bitcoin in, you know, look at it. So here's November. We kind of kept going, going. We had a bit of a pushback in November, 2020. And look at that. There's your blow off top and it just went crazy. But here, everyone's just expecting it. Everyone's like, okay, we tested, we passed the all time high. We're going to the moon, right? 11th of November, 10th of November, we're going to the moon came back right back down tested and we've been breaking down ever since it's not a good sign and I just again I feel like everyone has this mentality in the market that this is we're gonna all we're, we're all gonna make Bitcoin's gonna go to 300k 150k 200k and I just feel like there's so many people who think that that it's not gonna pan out that way and I feel like what plan B did was the worst thing he possibly could have done because it basically gave a cheat sheet to everyone. Everyone's like, November's gonna be a big month. December's gonna be a big month. I'm gonna sell out December and you know, wait for the crash to happen. Whether or not you agree with that, that's beside the point. Most people were thinking that, including myself. What ended up happening now is we ha we're going into a dark area now. We don't know what's happening and it's causing a lot of emotions in the market. We've also got the Biden administration doing all kinds of stuff with it. We've got the China ban on it, which again, it seems like we're recovering on it. What I'm trying to say is it just feels like the bad news is starting to mount and there's a lot of uncertainty in the market right now. Now, uncertainty could mean a good buying opportunity. And I hope I sit here in a couple days time and say, well, we actually just recovered all of this. But problem that concerns me and the reason really why I'm making this video is look at Bitcoin. It's just been going down. It's just been going down. The other thing as well is that 
if you really look at a lot of the crypto, we've got say Bitcoin, which like I said, you can see it came down. You have Solana, which had this massive run. I mean, from, you know, July to the high, you know, that's a 10,073% increase. If you look at CRO, Avalanche, Luna, Mana, all these coins have pumped so damn hard since you know, even say, look at mana going from October to the high, right? Almost, almost 700%. These coins have had their run. If you think about it, if we just take out Bitcoin and Bitcoin meant to do a three, two X or whatever. If you just look at the alts, the alts have had their run. Phantom, look at Phantom. When Phantom started from the low to the ultimate high, that's almost a 26,000% increase. There's a lot of good coins that have done massive insane gains. And we had the metaverse, we had the gaming tokens, we had the layer one. They've all had their time. And this could just be a weird thing that's happening in the market right now where it's like, it's hard to push Bitcoin up because it takes so much money to push Bitcoin. And the alts have had their run. Now it might just be different in this time where we have something like Ada, which didn't really go anywhere. Ada didn't really do anything, it, it, you know, up to its smart contract launch came out and just came crashing down. Some alts just didn't really have their run. Okay, look at Chainlink, it never really had its run. I mean, it looked like it a little bit in November, but it just came crashing down again. And this could just be how this cycle played out. Maybe we look back in the history books and we say, if you got in with some of the good alts, you made a lot of money. If you went for Bitcoin, you probably got burnt. If you went for Ethereum, you probably made a bit of money. But it, instead of it being this whole massive crypto bull run where every crypto is making money, maybe this time it was only a few of them or a bunch of them. And it was a bunch of them, right? I can keep going. Look at Algorand, right? Did fantastic. Look at Harmony One, did fantastic. There's a lot of coins that actually did really well. But I just feel like right now, I don't know why, I just have this feeling in my in my gut that it's like there was just too much emotion everyone's going to metaverse coins everyone's going into gaming coins meme coins pumped layer ones pumped but bitcoin didn't and the thing that hurts me the most and the thing that makes me scared is like i said the fact that bitcoin just kept going down i mean look this was my old chart and we just came breaking down and we're testing our support hope i'm wrong and if it is, I mean, by all means, this is a, a, a good buying opportunity. And I'm going to talk in my next video tomorrow about some cryptos that I think are a good value when I can make a judgment tomorrow. But I just want everyone to sort of reflect in this video and just tell yourself, we always want the maximum returns. We'd all love to make 23,000%, 22,000%. We all would have loved to bought Solana at its low. We all would have loved to bought Phantom and get that those insane, you know, 23,000% almost you would have been very happy. But you have to remember that this market can change very quickly and it can be a beautiful market. There's a lot of great, exciting technology behind it. There's a lot of passion and enthusiasm for it. And there definitely is a place in the world for it, but we have to remember that it's still a very young market. It is still very volatile and sensitive to news and you have to make sure that you're taking profits. So I'm going to see what happens in the bull run now. It's still on the bull run. I'm not, I'm not saying it's over, but something just feels off to me. It just feels like everyone's thinking they're going to the moon. Everyone's thinking we're, we're going to pump like crazy. We're going to have a blow off top. I mean, we're just not seeing it. <laughs> we're not seeing it at all. And if I look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin volumes drying up, RSI is going down. Not a good sign. We really need the Bitcoin market to start moving, but it just feels like there's no money moving it. And Bitcoin's so expensive to push this thing up. You need a lot and a lot of help and it's just not getting it. Still okay. If we broke, 50,000, it, it, now is the time to start ringing the alarms that this could be it. What I think could happen is that it seems like December might be a sideways month. January might be a low month. We might actually go down. February might go down and we might start rebuilding from March. The thing that's really hurting this market is the leverage. I mean, honestly, the leverage is just at an all-time high and it's just killing, it's just killing the crypto market. So I, uh, I know it's not the best, most positive video where I'm smiling and giving all recommendations and things like that, but I just want to put this piece out there and just say, think about your position think about the profits that you want to get out think about the profits you want out of a coin have your exit strategies think about which coins you want to exit out of and if you have some money buying watch my video tomorrow when i put it where i'm going to go through some of my favorite coins and say which one i'd be buying but it just feels like things might be playing a bit differently this bull run i mean this could have been the bull run and if you look at some of the olds they've had their run they've had twenty thousand percent plus returns and that could be it for this bull run. We don't know. So keep an eye on it. What happens to Bitcoin in the next few days is going to be very important. Uh, I think the bleeding is going to continue. I just think that, like I said, we're, we're in a really weird moment. I'll be sure to come tomorrow. And until then, I will see you tomorrow 